Welcome to ITL's Climate Change Week 2009. Tonight marks the third consecutive year of our long-term educational outreach program. So thank you for taking the time to be with us this evening to join in the launch of our flagship Climate Change Week campaign. Looking back at our contributions in the last two years, I'm personally proud to say that through the overwhelming responses received towards our activities, we have seen an increasing number of Malaysians taking interest and in action against the global threat of global warming. Climate Change Week made its debut in 2007 by presenting Malaysians with a chance to watch YTL-sponsored free premiere screening, screenings of the Academy Award-winning documentary, An Inconvenient Truth. We also hosted a successful global book launch of Cut Carbon, Grow Profits, which I had the privilege of co-editing with Dr. Kenny Tang, as well as a conference which focused on business strategies for climate change and sustainability. In 2008, YTL also sponsored and premiered Leonardo DiCaprio's movie, The Eleventh Hour, for the first time in Malaysia through our free public screenings held at the KL PAC. Again, we invited the whole nation to participate in our environment-related activities, also invited the younger generation to participate through our Climate Change Week youth workshop. Here, schools and students were rewarded with funding to implement sustainability and recycling programs within the campuses with the launch of our YTL Green Ribbon Award. 2008 was made even more special with our first ever charity gala that raised more than 700,000 ringgit for three non-profit environmental organizations, namely Reef Check Malaysia, Trees, and the Malaysian Nature Society. It gives me great pleasure to share with you that these funds are currently being used to run various training and outreach programs towards the protection of our priceless local coral reefs promoting sustainable lifestyles at the local community level through neighborhood recycling centers and restoring long-term forest and wildlife conservation programs for the Belum Tamungo Forest Reserves in Malaysia. This is a continuation of our commitment in supporting environmental conservation projects, working closely with and in support of various international groups like the Nature Conservancy. One of the biggest conservation groups in the world dedicated to protecting the last great places on earth as well as awarding grants to WWF Malaysia and Rare Conservation Malaysia to support grassroots conservation efforts, not only in Malaysia, but also globally. This country is so blessed with natural resources like our rainforests and reefs. Malaysia is also part of the Coral Triangle, an area recognized by scientists as having the richest marine biodiversity in the world. There are some 3,600 kilometers of reef around the country, including fringing reef and offshore islands and over 350 species of hard coral have been identified in Malaysian waters, making the case to protect them even more valid. Ladies and gentlemen, fragile global economies, subprime, banking crisis, poverty, rising fuel prices, epidemics, and climate change are frightening realities and intense challenges that we are all experiencing and all within the same century. Some of you may be asking why, because of these very challenges, why would we still even bother to protect the environment and host this very campaign? The answer is simple. There is more reason to do it. The fact is, the global economy is losing more from the disappearance of forests than through the current banking crisis. As you can see, our efforts for Climate Change Week are based on a simple objective, to raise environmental consciousness amongst Malaysians and to inspire action in each and every individual in this nation to do their part for the earth and the environment. This week, in fact this month, is all about inspiring the many caring Malaysians out there who are willing to play their part in becoming their own change agents in the fight against global warming. We've also seen this with Malaysia's first Earth Hour, in which YTL was also an active participant, committing more than 20 of its iconic properties in both Malaysia and Singapore to switch off their lights in respect of this global movement. I'm pleased to share that this year's Climate Change Week program has been elevated to another level, where environmental awareness becomes even more accessible to the public. In partnership with National Geographic Channel, we'll be presenting Malaysians with a televised premiere screening of the acclaimed eco-documentary, Strange Days on Planet Earth Oceans, hosted by acclaimed Hollywood actor and environmentalist, Edward Norton. People from all over Malaysia, be it in urban or rural areas, can now tune in to watch this very special environmental series on their TV screens. 
The latest two episodes, Dangerous Catch and Dirty Secrets, will debut from the 24th to 31st of May on the National Geographic Channel on Astro. These two latest episodes investigate the health of the world's water system and chronicles the cyclical causes and effects that are bubbling up from its depths. And that's not all. As part of our partnership with National Geographic, the entire month of June will also see the airing of season one of Strange Days on Planet Earth that earlier premiered with four episodes, including Earth, Invaders, The One Degree Factor, Predators, and Troubled Waters. This brings it to a total of six weeks of on-air presence for Climate Change Week, which translated means one whole month of environmental awareness. Ladies and gentlemen, the decision to go on air with Strange Days on Planet Earth was made to create a bigger and more accessible Climate Change Week program, supporting our goal of reaching out to more Malaysians than ever before on the importance of climate change. This is a first for us, and I'm particularly pleased that we chose to premiere Strange Days on Planet Earth because of its relevance and provocative approach to the real impact of climate change. As you know, the world is made up of many ecosystems, and scientists believe that everything is interconnected. Natural disasters in recent years, for example, the cyclone Nargis in Myanmar, tsunamis, Hurricane Katrina, the massive floods in China, droughts in India, and even flooding on home ground in Johor, may have happened across different continents, but experts have begun to piece together the bigger picture that holds us all together. And the docu-series that we'll share with you shortly will reveal some startling insights. Shot on location around the world, the two new episodes of Strange Days on Planet Earth, Dangerous Catch and Dirty Secrets, follow teams of scientists as they investigate puzzling phenomena, phenomena in fresh and sea water. These high detective stories with the fate of the planet at stake expose some surprising links between catastrophic environmental events around the world. Apart from rising temperatures, sea levels, and melting icebergs, climate change is also expected to increase the spread of infectious diseases such as malaria, dengue, and yellow fever by extending the distribution range of disease-carrying organisms. Experts believe that the light speed spread of SARS and more recently, the World Health Organization alert of the AH1N1 influenza pandemic are in fact proof that theirs is not merely a theory, but a real and viable threat that has the power to wipe out the human race. Ladies and gentlemen, as a steward of our good earth, our long time involvement in the protection of our precious environment has taught us that the fight against global warming is a long term effort that requires continuous participation and commitment. Over the years, YTL has been passionately advocating environmental protection, promoting energy efficiency, and contributing to sustainable development for over a decade. We have been busy working with partners who use clean technology, educating our employees, supporting research and development for clean technology, investing in more efficient processes and systems, and also increasing our investments in renewable energy. One of our many long-term efforts is the KLIA Express train, which carries an estimated 2.7 million passengers yearly, equivalent to taking 2 million cars off the road, so saving almost 29,000 tonnes of CO2 from polluting our environment every year. Our latest environmental vis vision took shape when our carbon credit consultancy, YTL SV Carbon, was officially launched last year to offer clean development mechanism consulting and a business case for the environment. Besides helping our operations and subsidiaries go carbon neutral, YTL SV Carbon also advises other companies on how to go about becoming clean and green. Now the largest carbon credit consultancy in Malaysia and the third largest in ASEAN, YTL SV Carbon has 52 projects in various stages of progress, in addition to ongoing consulting projects in Indonesia, Thailand and China. Dear friends, climate change is not a new issue. It is an age-old issue, and the destruction mankind has inflicted on this earth has put us in a race against time to undo it. But I am confident we can rise to the challenge and alter its course. Our collective voice and conscience is a lot more powerful than we think. If we vote for war, governments will go to war. If we vote for sustainable development and policies, then our leaders will follow. It all starts with public will. If you demand for recycling facilities and services, clean air and water, and the choice of using renewable energies instead of fossil fuels, then our elected officials will respond accordingly. So let us all raise our awareness about the state of our world and work together towards a more sustainable future. Our future generations are counting on us to do something. 
Before I end, I would like to thank the team at National Geographic Channel for the opportunity to present Strange Days on Planet Earth for the first time to all Malaysians. I also thank the wonderful team at Astro for their kind support in promoting the premiere screenings of this very special environmental series and for the support of our Climate Change Week campaign for the third year running. To our friends from the media who are here today, please do help us spread the news about the televised screening taking place on National Geographic channel as we would like as many Malaysians as possible to catch these eye-opening docu-series to learn how they can do their part for the earth and the environment. Please also visit our Climate Change Week website to find out how we can join together to make a difference. Once again, thank you for all your kind support this evening and may God bless you all. Thank you.